Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the A330 electrical system. Let's start first and talk what is the electric source for the A330. The electric source for the A330 is engine generator number one, engine generator number two, two external power A and B, EBU generator, emergency generator, three battery, battery number one, battery number two, and battery number three and ABU battery. All this power source will provide AC except the battery which is provide the DC. Normally the engine generator would power its own bus. So generator number one would power AC bus number one, generator number two would power AC bus number two, which is normally. From the AC bus number one there are there are a TR. How many TR do we have? We have four TR in the AT30. TR number one, TR number two, essential TR, and ABU TR. The TR will convert the AC to the DC. So from the TR, the AC power will convert to the DC power. So we have DC bus number one and DC bus number two. Here we have the DC battery bus. The DC battery bus normally powered by DC bus number one, which is power when it is powered. If any reason or somehow we want the DC bus number one, the DC battery bus can be powered by the DC bus number two. If we lost DC bus number one and DC bus number two, the DC battery bus still can be powered by either battery number one or battery number two. The second source we are talking about the external power. We have external power A and the external power B. One is one electrical power is enough to power the whole aircraft. Usually, what is the difference? Usually, we connect AC bus number one with the aircraft in the ground. Why we connect external power number one? Because by the external power number one, we can power the ground surface bus. This bus can only power by the external power number A. The, uh, the external power B cannot power the uh, ground surface of bus. So if we need to power the aircraft by two external power A and B, we have here conductor. This conductor we call it system isolation conductor. This one, when we have two external power source available, this one would be open, so they will share the load, which is the external power A will power the right hand side, external power B will power the left hand side. Besides that, we have an emergency, we have an ABU generator. The ABU generator can power also the whole aircraft. If we need to hold the whole aircraft, so this one system isolation contactor will be closed automatically, so the aircraft will be bound. Uh, also, here we have the emergency generator. The emergency generator, from its name, can be powered only in the emergency configuration. The emergency configuration having if ah uh, if we lost EC bus number one and EC bus number two, in this. In this case, the aircraft will go to the emergency to the emergency configuration. In the emergency configuration, the RAT, Ram Air Turbine, will extend to power the ground, the hydraulic, the green hydraulic, uh, the green hydraulic system. So the emergency generator can use the green system to power the aircraft. When we are using the emergency generator, we only power the AC. We only power the essential AC and the essential DC and the essential AC shed and the essential DC shed. We don't power AC bus number one, AC bus number two by the emergency generator. In case, in case if we lose this one, we still can power the aircraft by other source. Let's talk about the last one, which is the battery. We have battery number one, we have battery number two, and we have the AB battery, the battery number one and battery number two located in the finished compartment. The ABU battery located in the bulk kernel. So right now, let's talk about very, very important bus. That bus we call it essential. 
we have essential AC and we have the essential DC. This AC, essential bus, it is the most important bus in this aircraft. So that's why this AC bus can be powered by two different sources. Normally, it is powered by AC bus number one. If somehow we lost AC bus number one, this contactor will go to this way. So the AC bus number two can power the essential AC. If we lost both AC bus number one and AC bus number two, the aircraft will go to the emergency generator, to the emergency configuration. So in the, in the, aircraft, in the emergency configuration, we can uh, the emergency generator will power the essential AC by closing this contactor and this contactor so it will be powered. In case if I lost AC bus number one and AC bus number two and emergency generator, the essential AC still can be powered by battery, either battery number one or battery number two. As we say, the battery will provide us with the DC and this one AC, so that's why we have a static inverter here. The function of the static inverter to convert the AC to the DC, AC, DC to the AC, we have only one static inverter located in the various compartments. At the same time, we have something another. We call it DC essential bus. Normally, the DC essential bus is powered by the essential TR. When the aircraft is powered, normally powered, normally we use AC bus number one to power the essential TR, so the essential TR will power the DC essential bus. In case if we lost DC bus number one, this one can be powered by the DC bus number two. In case if I lost both, the DC essential bus still can be powered by the emergency generator. In case we, if we lost these three sources, still we can power the DC essential bus directly by the batteries, either number one or number two. Okay. Right now, let's talk about the priority bus. As we see, we have priority, we have AC bus number one, and we have the AC bus number one. The priority for the AC bus number one is generator number one, ABU, external power B, external power B, external power A, and emergency generator. While the AC bus number two priority is generator number two, ABU, uh, external power A, ABU, external power B, and emergency generator, which is the most important thing. All this system, I made a small uh, summarize for the electrical system for the A330. You can see here the AC priority bus. This is the generator line contactor. Here we have uh, there are uh, four TR, this one we call a system isolation contactor. This one, the AC surface bus powered by the external power A uh, only. And we have, this is the AC priority uh, number uh, two. And this one for the ABU, TR only used for the ABU start uh, uh, only. And this one we're talking about how uh, normally what is the priority source for uh, uh, no, uh, for the DC essential bus normally powered by the essential TR and this one normally by the AC bus number one. So this is basically about the A330. Thanks a lot.